Hello, this is Zach from Nomadic Cards Archery again. Second video of today and uh, what I want to talk about today is whistling arrows. Uh, there has been some talk about it and uh, these are the ones that I made into blue flues and they look pretty much like this so there's that one this is one that I like better it is badass and this would be used to hunt birds or there's so many theories so I don't know make what you want out of it so since uh, there has been some complaints about they don't work properly um, they don't make a noise this and that so we're gonna quickly show how to install one of these onto the shaft so what I did already uh, I used a millimeter bamboo shaft it's easier to work with and uh, this is the head I'm gonna use to demonstrate. So uh, it should be thicker diameter than eight mil for this, because it goes there and it should have a shoulder right about there. So ju just so you know, up front, it should be a hole. Some of them they don't have it, some they do. Once with a hole in front, they're meant to be mounted like this. So, uh, so far what I did, I adjusted the diameter and as you can see, it goes very nicely for what I did is I hope you can see well I narrow down the diameter of the shaft and sort of taper it I have to work a bit more but since my family is coming home soon they went to McDonald's so I can show you this so I'll give them a big shout out so first things first we have to do the we're gonna use this head so what I'm going to do, I'm going to wrap it in a piece of leather and, okay, you can see here, so I don't have to readjust everything every time. So I'm going to put it in a vise. And I already went almost there. So instead of using drill, like I showed you before, you should just go with the fingers and make your arrowhead feel comfortable there also my vise should be clamped but it is what it is don't use any force force will heat up uh, arrow shaft and it will crack which is what we want to avoid. So I am almost there. So we're not gonna force anything, we're just gonna back up, work on it till it actually wishes to go there. I'm gonna move my vise and this is how it looks so at this point I'm gonna remove arrowhead get rid of dust and install the point I still have to work 
maybe for one more millimeter, which is not crucial, but this allows me if this arrowhead is not set properly, glue will do the job. So you see, it will not fall off, should be snug, but not too tight. Too tight will break the arrow. So this would be idea how to install it. If you don't do it properly, you can see it is fairly centralized. If, uh, if you just put the arrowhead, let's say this one, just here, it will be wobbly. Uh, two points attachment is way better. Like you can see here. So at this point, uh, what I should do before, which I didn't because I'm rushing, you would uh, remove all the lacquer that comes from uh, bamboo shafts and you have to reseal it. I got true oil as a gift from uh, Yevgeny. Thank you very much, Yevgeny. I consider you as one of my patrons. Thank you. So, once uh, all the varnish is gone, you're going to install the shaft. Ah, you're going to install the whistling head. Obviously, you're going to put the glue first. Then in the, in the hole on the bamboo shaft, you're going to add the glue and keep pushing arrow, uh, arrowhead in and out till uh, there's access, uh, excess glue. Then you're going to remove that with a wet cloth that uh, you should always come handy. If you watch my other videos, I always got the wet and dry cloth. My dry cloth is always behind me. And uh, that will secure your whistling head properly. Uh, there are some uh, whistling arrowheads. One of them is, I believe, in Manchester Museum that is broken and you can see through. It doesn't have arrowhead, but it's constructed that uh, uh, basically this part would have a wood, wood plug. Like we got the brass plugs here. And it would look like so. So that could be glued on as well. It's just a company that uh, uh, supply me with these. They keep changing stuff. And uh, sometimes you got a good batch. Sometimes you got a bad batch. And then you end up with a jar like this. Full of the arrowheads that nobody wants to buy. And then everybody asks me. Why can't you get those first ones? I did get those first ones and they didn't work like any other ones. So that would be update on how to install whistling heads. Uh, another very important part is that front hole should be sealed properly. More so back hole because if air keeps popping out it will not whistle properly there are quite a few tricks in uh, how to do it and this would be I believe I explained it nicely will this fit yes oh boy they come as a two parts uh, horn yep. this one as well and Exotic wood. I am not big on exotic wood because in order for me and you to have fancy arrowheads they're gonna plow down half of the Amazon and do bad things to natives which is not really nice if you ask me. Oh this one fits nice. So that would be a fairly proper way to do it. I do know that uh, you can do everything 3D, but uh, I can also watch porno movies. Yet I decided to get married because 
I think that's a better way to go. So, that being said, I'm gonna conclude this one as well. Uh, I'm gonna leave in the um, description. Uh, I still have a few of these for sale. I don't think I'm gonna import any more. And uh, I'm gonna leave, uh, leave the link for my uh, web shop. Also, if you need natural glue, this is made in Canada. Bottle is not, bottle is from Ikea. I just reused them. Uh, this is uh, fish glue from Cod. It is a uh, cold water fish, which is a much better glue than the, than the one that you get from Tropics. I don't have experience with that, but uh, many people told me so, so I'm just gonna pass it on you. And uh, also, consider supporting me on uh, Patreon, subscribe, share the videos. If I got uh, more views, I can finally afford a computer so I can edit everything properly. I can insert the pictures and all of that and make nice videos. I got the plans of uh, making uh, some videos about uh, different types of quivers, explaining all those things, uh, do demonstrations myself and also supporting all of that with uh, pictures of uh, quivers, for example, from Enchu, it's gonna be from Peter Decker website. I'm gonna uh, insert uh, sources where I get everything, or if I don't know, I'll just say, I don't know, I found it on the internet. So I think that will do. Thank you very much. Zag Jurica, Nomadic Arts Archery.